Hey guys, welcome to another recipe. Today we're going to be making chickpea omelet, aka pataas, based ng chickpeas. I'm trying to teach myself Tagalog because I'm whitewashed as fuck. So anyways, to start, we are going to use a cup of water. Honestly, I don't remember all the measurements in this because I did it a couple weeks ago and I just decided to post it. But there, we're going to also use garbanzo bean flour, also known as chickpea bean flour. I didn't know that, so it took me a while to find it. Um, rice flour, flax meal for our egg substitute, and seasoning, normal salt, pepper. Some cayenne pepper, red pepper. I like things to be just have a little heat to it. Garlic because I love garlic everything. Turmeric and I believe this is just for color. I don't really know what turmeric really tastes like by itself. A tomato for topping. Vegetables for the inside. These were already prepped and I wanted to use them um, so they wouldn't go bad. So we have a bunch of sliced vegetables. An onion because. Onion goes in everything. And the sauce I made, I believe it was silken tofu with like onion powder, garlic powder, pepper, and things like that. Um, it was kind of like a Alfredo ranch sauce almost. Um, and there's nutritional yeast in it. So we're just gonna blend all of our ingredients together. This is our chickpea flour. I think it's like four cups. Some of our rice flour. And our se seasoning. A flax egg, pepper, salt, turmeric, garlic. And the water. And then you're gonna wanna add your water. I want you want it to be kind of like a pancake or um great texture so I actually ended up having to add like about half a cup of water back into it because I think this was too dry and to be honest um, I might have done this wrong so I have to go back and do it again and try it um, with another recipe so I don't know maybe I did this incorrectly but you want your batter to be in this somewhat of a texture just so it could spread and things like that on the pan And then you're just gonna want to add it to your pan and spread it all out. Or you could do your vegetables first because that's what I did. <laughs> you just want to sweat them out. I also had this um, breakfast patty in the fridge so I figured I might as well use it because I haven't actually used it since I got it um, so I just put it in there just for a little more sustenance and then I made the omelet part of it and this batter was actually really thick surprisingly um, it didn't really spread like I thought it would you know like a um, regular egg would or a chicken eggs would so I had to actually spread it out with my fork. And be sure to make sure you use like a non-stick pan or a pan or oil your pan um, because mine stuck to the bottom and it was very hard to pull up and you'll see that I ended up breaking it. I'm definitely going to be playing with this recipe a little bit. Um, it didn't turn out how I expected but it was my first time so I figured. Document it. So I just topped it off with that sauce I had and then the veggies. And tried to flip it over. So I know there's like a crack right there, but I fixed it because I like turned it over to make it pretty. And then I just topped it off with some tomatoes, avocado, because I love avocado now. I used to hate avocado. And that's that. That is our chickpea. 
chickpea omelet or patas based ng chickpea in Tagalog. Um, yeah, it was an interesting omelet. It is definitely not going to fool anyone that it's an omelet, like a chicken egg omelet, because the taste is completely mm. different. Um, mm. And that mm taste, that was, I think that was like my initial bite, and then after it sat in a little bit, I was like, hmm, I don't know, need some more. But yeah, um, if you guys like this video, please subscribe. If you ever tried a chickpea omelet, let me know because um, I think I did something wrong or maybe I'm the only, or maybe I'm not the only one that thinks we need to find a different alternative for an omelet. Maybe we should just stick to crepes. I don't know. But yeah, if you like this video, be sure to like it. And if this is the content that you think you're interested in, I do vlogs, um, daily life, random stuff. Um, so hit that subscribe button if that's something you're into. But until next time, I'll see ya. Bye.